refrigerator is a French door. I got this refrigerator, y'all, for five hundred and like ninety bucks. Five hundred and ninety dollars. It's a Kenmore. Anyway, look at this refrigerator, y'all. I want y'all to see it. But let me just say this. I'm going to bring y'all over here. Y'all got to see how pretty it is. And I'm going to show y'all how big this freezer is. That's what I'm so excited about. And I had a few of y'all tell me that, but I didn't realize how big of a difference it made. But this is how big the freezer is, y'all. I got every one of my, my bagged vegetables on this side. It's full. I mean, it's, it's got lots of them in here. Then I got all of my meat that I have bagged, my fish, my ground beef, everything that's in bags in this bottom bin. I went yesterday and bought a bunch of ground beef that was on sale. I got my ground beef yesterday. Mark down, y'all. Ingles good ground beef for a dollar fifty a pound. So I put it, I actually got out my little weigher and I put it in two pound, one and a half pound. And one pound. So anyway, because one pound you need for tacos and stuff like that, you know, or. But look, it's got this rack on the top. I'm in love, y'all. I'm in love with my new freezer. It's got a rack on the top where I can put pie crusts and things that I don't want to get messed up. And I can put ice cream. I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea how excited. I am. So now, if I want to put a pie plate in here to cool off some peaches, I could put two in here. I could put three or four in here. I'm so excited. Little things excite me, y'all. But that's a big deal. When you're cooking for the next 15 years and you've got a refrigerator, it's a big deal that you pick out one, y'all, that's compatible with what you're going to be doing. Okay? Now, for somebody that don't ever cook and would never use a pie plate, who cares, right? But for somebody that cooks every day like I do, it's a big deal. And I was so excited. And my other refrigerator is just a small refrigerator, but it's perfect for what I need it for. I'm putting all of my, I got all the dairy in here. Did y'all see how big my dairy drawer is in here? Y'all, I may have to get me some more organizing. I'm going to try to let y'all see it. It might cut y'all off again. But look, I got every one of my vegetables in this one drawer. Okay, I've got to go to the grocery store. I'm out of fruit because without two refrigerators, I let some stuff go. Here is my dairy drawer. And I've got my cheese, some fresh pasta, a little bit of meat. I've got three things of cream cheese and my butter. And I still have tons of room. I could actually, if I wanted to, put my tray of eggs in here, y'all. I think. Let's see if we can close it. Yeah. Look at that. But I probably won't put my eggs in there because I'll probably put like yogurt or something like that in there for snacks for the kids. But I'm so excited. And I've got Amy's bagels in this door because she eats bagels every day. So I've got her bagels in this door with her cream cheese, our coffee creamers, and Chris put his juice right here, I noticed, after he got home. But this is really where a two-liter Coke would go, okay? And then in this door over here, I've got milk and our most favorite condiments that we use the most and our jellies at the top. But there in the other refrigerator... Y'all probably think, Lord, I don't have anything this top in yet. Uh, but I got all my dairy on this one shelf. I mean, it's just amazing. I'm so excited. And I love the ice, y'all. It makes these little bitty tiny cubes of ice, which I like. Um, so in the other refrigerator, um, I could try to take y'all in there because this is really not Bible study this morning. I may have to just start over. But it kind of is because I want to see, I want y'all to understand that when you're in God's will, He takes care of you. As little as it is, as little as it may seem that a refrigerator would be, it's not a little, it's, it's not little to me. You know what I mean? And He made it so that I could get one that I could put a pie plate in, which I'm happy. 
So in this refrigerator, look, I've got all my jellies and condiments in the door because I read that your door is actually not the coldest place in your refrigerator, it's the warmest place. Well, since all these things have vinegar and stuff like that in them, I put them all in the door, okay? It says that the coldest place in your refrigerator is on the bottom shelf, okay? So yesterday I bought a few meats, and they're on the bottom shelf. And I got a few in that bin down there, and I got to figure out what to do with that steak. I've never even bought that cut before, but it was on sale, so I had to get it. But anyway, I'm excited, y'all. Now, let me give y'all a piece of advice right quick. This stuff right here, I like the taste of it, but I went by there the other day, and I'm not lactose intolerant. And y'all gonna think this is funny. I'm gonna say it anyway, because y'all know me. I'm just real. But if I drink, now that I've gotten older, if I drink milk or skim milk, I poo, and I poo, and I poo. And poor Chris, I was wondering what the world was wrong with me. Why in the Lord, why in the world was I pooping all the time? And then I realized, after I read something about it, that it was the milk I was drinking. So I quit drinking milk, and now I drink almond milk, and it makes me run to the bathroom, but at least I stay cleaned out, right? Well, anyway, I went by the dollar store the other day, and normally non-dairy creamers don't bother me because they're not supposed to have dairy in them. Not really. And I bought this, y'all. It says it's lactose-free. And can I just give you a piece of advice? It's the only one I've ever bought that makes me poot and poot and poot. So I know there's some lactose in here. Word of warning, do not buy Clover Valley Dollar General coffee creamer if you are lactose intolerant. Anyway, I thought that